Hey, what's up guys? All right, so look, we're almost done skimming this house. Um, if you look out here, we've already boxed in. We boxed in the high room out there. There's another high room to the right. There's another high room to the left. And we're up on the final, I don't know, there's a couple rooms here that are nine foot. We're gonna finish out. It's only been about two and a half hours for the whole house. But I wanted to show you this bad butt joint. Now come over here and take a look. He's gonna have to focus on the camera. Now, can you see the light down the side of this blade? Mm -hmm. Hold it underneath. You can. Huh? You can see it. You can see it? Okay. So, if you notice, there's a pretty big gap over here. Now, I've boxed this butt joint. I showed it in my, I guess, three videos ago or so when I was running the 10-inch box. And then I filled it a little bit on the, more on the right-hand side when I ran the centers by hand on these butts. So, this one, I'm going to box out this wall real quick. And I just want to show you... Uh, Really quickly, how I'm going to do this with the 10 inch box. If you notice that line in there, 12, what I did was find the high point and I just took my blade and went right down the high point so I know where to run my wheels. Now, just like the rest of the house, I'm going to box the flats first. Now we're going to get to the budget. I'm going to fill this box up. Now, if you know where the high point is, like I showed you on that, when I drew the line on it, I'm going to open this box wide open. And I'm going to put the blade right on that high point. Okay? And, you, and I'm running on zero on the box. Now it's going to leave a lot of mud here. And that's exactly what I want to do. In fact, if I can get more out of it, I will. But like I explained in the earlier videos, it almost runs this stud. Now I'm going to put this one on one on this side because I don't need that much mud. So I'll run this on one. And now I'm going to wipe it all down. I wanted to show you guys that because... You want to make sure you leave the mud on that on that deep side. If you notice, if you notice here. Wait, look at look at this now. You see how that box fills that thing right up? Okay. Now if I put it over here, it's it's almost dead flat now. That's what you're after with these butt joints, and the machines do it by hand. I'm gonna sit there and probably take as long to run that by hand and make that flat as I would literally wiping this entire wall. And that's another bonus to the machines, especially if you've got hand finishing knowledge. I learned how to be a machine finisher first when I was in my 20s, early 20s. And then I got into hand finishing with a custom home drywall company. And I'll tell you, when I went back into machines, it made it so much easier and so much faster. Now see, I'm leaving all that mud there. I don't want to take any more mud off this. Now, tomorrow, when we get back in here, we're going to box this house and then we've got to go finish up another house. We've got another 250 sheets of another job that we're doing. And we're going to finish the skim coat on that today. Um, when I get back in here tomorrow or Monday morning, I'll show you guys this butt joint again and then I'll fill it by hand and it'll be absolutely perfectly flat. Anyway, you guys have a good day, thank you.